COVID-19 is changing the way in which businesses are functioning today. The COVID-19 crisis is changing the way that people are searching for businesses and the way in which businesses are presenting themselves to be found in the search engine. And Google My Business is one of the greatest ways that you can improve your business to be found locally so that you still get customers and clients picking up the phone and keeping your business going or ready to go as soon as the tiers have changed or the lockdowns have changed. A study recently showed that 20,000% increase has taken place when it comes to local searching for business. So there are many people locally to your business that are looking for your business. How do you get found? Well, that's exactly what we're going to look at in today's video, is there are several things you can do to not only stand out, but also to make yourself absolutely available to the people that are looking for you, particularly when it comes to this pandemic. There's also been an incredible increase on searching for curbside pickup. So if you can do curbside pickup, then there's 3000% increase looking for that in the last year due to the pandemic. So why is this? Well, the supply chain has been interrupted. Things aren't the way they used to be. People can't travel. So local business is all about customers that are local supporting those businesses and local businesses giving reasons for trust to be found in their customers and their clients. So what can you do to stand out? And what can you do to make sure your business survives? There are quite a few hidden things in Google My Business and these types of videos are going to help you to be aware of what you can do. And if it's applicable to your business, then do it. It's free, it's easy to do. You just have to follow the steps. And what's on the minds of customers at the moment? Well, most of the time when they're searching, they're just wanting to know, are you open? Because again, businesses are opening and closing. Some are absolutely permanently closed. So is your business still going? Are you open? Is one of the main questions they'll first be asking. They also want to know what's your current hours? Is it a case of it's reduced hours at the moment because of COVID? They may also want to know what safety have you got in place? If I was to come and visit you, would you be wearing a face mask? Would I be wearing a face mask? What type of hygienic things are in place so that my safety isn't put at jeopardy? Do you have contactless payments? Because again, that might be something that's important to the person visiting. Now this video, of course, can't cover all the businesses and all the specifics, but I'm aware that when it comes to aviation, when it comes to retail, when it comes to hospitality, these businesses have been really heavily affected at this time. So we'll also try and look at perhaps some of the things that could help you in those areas too. So let's jump straight in and see what some of the things you can do today that are going to help you stand out and take advantage of a very difficult situation for your business. So for example, if I wanted to test my car, car MOT, I do a search for that. And you'll notice if I go to Google Maps there, I'm just looking to see are these businesses open? So if I click on this one, just seeing it's a local business and I'm looking for opening times. Are the hours changing? So it says it's open, so that's good. Again, with COVID, a lot of these things have perhaps been a little bit unsure because there's times when things have been restricted and that's generally how it works. Now, how do you get this then? How do you make sure you get these times, this opening correct? The simplest way now is really do a search for your company. So my company comes up, Zanet Design. So if you got a company you do a search for it and if you're the business owner and you've logged in and it's already kind of part of your uh, gmail account then you'll find you get these extra boxes coming up as well which tells you a bit more information about your branding and some of the things you can add there's a couple of ways to get to this where you need to add the hours and this covid extra information and it, this is the first way keep customers up to date so google really wants you to do this and it will reward you most businesses don't keep it up to date on a regular basis. So keep customers up to date, answer a few questions and update your business details on Google. Now there is another way to get to this. If I go to inside my Google My Business and on here, we've got stay connected during COVID-19, let customers know about any changes. So update to services, update to hours, update to your COVID-19 message. Those are the main things they want updated. 
but actually the easier way is to do it this way. So let's click on this. And now you just follow it. So I'm going to follow it through. And I would say do this every week because what you're doing is you're giving a signal to Google that you're still taking note of the information that they're putting towards you. And sometimes these things will change. So don't just think that ignore it because I've answered it once already. Keep answering it. It gives a signal to Google that you are open, you're interested in your business, you're wanting customers to still react with your business. So let's go through this. Confirm if your business is open, temporarily closed or permanently closed. Well, I'm open, so we'll do that. If you want to know more, I've got a video that explains the differences on those and how to go about that. So I'm marking it as open. Now I'm going through my hours. So my hours, these are my set hours. Are they the same? Let customers know. So again, change them if it's different. But if they're the same, still save it. Again, the signal goes to Google. And now this is again the health and safety coming in. Let your customers know what health and safety measures your business is taking. So is a mask required? Yes. Do you do temperature checks? No. I'm only answering this from my point of view. Of course, you may put yes on these. Appointment required? Yes. A lot of people just turning up without an appointment at the moment. Mask required for staff? No. Temperature checks for staff? No. Staff required to disinfect surfaces before they visit? Yes. And those, that's my answers. Again, yours may be different, but answer them. Click Save. And look at that. You've told Google that you're still very relevant. Now, most businesses haven't done this. It's so simple to do. And that will gain you a definite advantage because you're giving a signal to Google that you're not just a local business when someone's searching for you, but you're the last local business that updated itself and kept the information up to date. Customers on Google will be able to see the latest information about your business soon. Now, that will come out and probably there'll be more details of that. So I'm going to click Done. And that takes me then through to my back end. And of course, you can always make those changes here. If you go on to learn more, you've then got some information uh, that may answer some of your questions you've got from that. But on the whole, it should be pretty straightforward. And that's the other thing you can do as well, is if there is anything else to update, you can click on View Plan, and that information sometimes occurs there as well. So keep an eye on that. So I did a search here for a beauty salon. Notice this one here really stands out. It's got the word schedule. In fact, there's another one as well, uh, further down here has schedule. And what you'll notice is in the COVID situation we're in, isn't it really good if you can make an online schedule, you can update on their calendar. Uh, if I click on this, you'll see that you can book online here or you can click on here. Um, so let's click on here. And this takes you through to not only to their listing, but it now gives you all the things that they can do, the prices. You've got an overview here as well of, of their actual business. But this schedule here, you can now book in. And don't you think again, would that be useful for your business? Well, if it would, you'll notice that this is free software that they've added. It's called Fresher. So if I click here, Fresher, meet the number one software for salons and spas. So you might find that that's ideal. Now, if you've got a web designer, they should be able to bolt this in for you onto your website. Uh, I think it works with WordPress by the looks of things. And that gives you a lot more information of uh, providing customers with an attractive booking system. Uh, buttons like that, book online, isn't that going to be far easier than wading through a website trying to find where the number is or how they can book perhaps for a form? Obviously, they've got a number there anyway. So that's just something to think about. You might want to use that. That's at fresher.com. There may be other ones that are specific to your business. I also wanted to show you that apart from the fact you can click on here and obviously you can add a request to quote button if you download the app. So that's another video I've covered. So if you look a search for Zanet Design Request a Quote, that video will come up. Now, I was just doing a, a local search for restaurants as well and you notice some are closed and so on. But uh, one of the things I just wanted to point out on here is that on this one that's closed, you notice that they do keep everyone updated. So they've got a COVID-19 update from the business two days ago. So this just tells you the fact that they're under tier four, the fact they've got some limitations at the moment, but the business is still around. And so that's just helpful to know uh, and be updated if that was your regular place that you'd go for your pizzas. How do you get that? You can post your COVID-19 update here. And that's where you then add it there. 
or the other way to get to it is you can click on posts click on COVID-19 and then you've then got there so you won't be able to put an image with the COVID-19 update if you want to add images then that's with offers and what's new and so on this is just about updating your status and then also you can get them to so you can still get them to order online or to book you can still add these buttons at the end of it as well but that's how you get this information to appear and again that's an important part of making sure that COVID-19 is to the fore on your business but there's another thing as well I wanted to point out to you so I was just doing a search for bubble tea shops you notice here again they don't do dine-in they do takeaway and delivery so again you you might want to do these these are under attributes so if I go into here and if I click on info and here you can add your appointment link and here you can add your attributes your health and safety so you may want to really go through this fill this out as well if you haven't done so but that's how you can get that type of information to appear here with these green ticks as well and there's one other thing that's a real beautiful little gem that Google put forward a few months ago now um, and I did a video on this but I'll just show you this as well so this one's temporarily closed but they are accepting the ability to get gift cards bought now they're doing this through square up there's a few other ways you can even get um, donations through uh, PayPal from customers if they just want to support local businesses now if you feel that will be useful and there you go so they've got this uh, um, they've got this information here if I click on this I can now give a gift card to a friend and what that's doing that's giving money to that company it keeps them surviving ready for when they open up again so at the moment they're temporarily closed but they're, they're selling gift vouchers uh, selling uh, uh, gift cards that's going to just keep them ticking over now you really do need to do that if that's your type of business then you need to do that and I'll show you how to do that in a moment and just finally I was doing a search here for cars and MOTs and again just answering questions if people have questions you notice quite often people don't answer questions but you might get some COVID questions that you can put on there too to answer people if people keep asking a certain question that's specific to your business because of the fact that maybe there's a certain type of law or something that's affecting your business or affecting your customers perspective of your business then you may want to answer it here in the questions and answers so if you make some of those changes today will it affect your business today too well it will the nice thing with google my business is that when you make the changes they take effect immediately so in the old days if you made a change it could take three or four months before the benefits would be seen but with google my business it's a very much more of a live optimization where if you make those changes immediately you're attracting your customers you're making it more accessible to them you're providing them with trust and authority and expertise which again we've mentioned in previous videos but what about adding those gift cards and donations that we saw in the video a minute ago what can you do how do you go about that well I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that how you can get the gift cards or the vouchers how you can get local businesses uh, local customers to support your business in a very easy way especially if you're closed at this time that may just be a little income that enables you to keep going under these difficult times so if you want to know how you can add that to your business then this video here will take you exactly through the step by steps of how to do that but if you're just wanting to know how do I get a plan for my business whether it's aviation retail hospitality then this video here gives you a bespoke step-by-step -step plan of what you need to do so I'll meet you over there